Russia's Far North will help me emerge into the Russian authentic culture. I would love to know how the people from Russia reinterpret the elements of nature and its ancient culture. in my uh, Eskimo Greenlandic uh, tongue uh, and um, well I'm, I'm born I'm Galadok Greenlander. My name is Galia Morel and I'm an artist I work in uh, different uh, industries such as music dance pantomime photography uh, sculpture um, and uh, which I'm trying to combine all these disciplines uh, in one very specific geographical region, which is uh, the Arctic. By creating art, we're trying to involve the local community so we do things together, because these communities are so isolated that sometimes they think that they're the, like, the only one who's left in the world, and they feel completely disattached from the rest of the world. So we're trying to create art together so that they feel that they belong to something much, much bigger than this little settlement affected uh, by by uh, the advances of globalization and climate change. When, when you are born in, uh, and raised in, in the Arctic, in this case uh, uh, Greenland, and uh, it's um, somehow, uh, of course, that's your home. But you would also like to share it with others, because in my case, uh, I think uh, that's the uh, most beautiful, uh, most adventurous part of the world. And um, it's not difficult at all to, to get in touch and work with others, mainly artists of some kind uh, or adventurers. So what I, for me, uh, the, the adventure this world is the polar world. It's uh, the, the rest like uh, warm, uh, it's nice, but uh, that's where you are having your vacations. Here you, you can be an explorer <laughs> uh, if you wish. I actually uh, came here with the idea of a few uh, art projects that uh, I could do here. And after two days and meeting all the young people and seeing the landscapes, cityscapes, I know that uh, this is exactly what has to be done. This is a project that I started doing a few years ago in Greenland, and that's uh, for the kids, and that's the story of their polar night experiences, and it's called My Polar Night, in one word. So I was making portraits of the kids living in smaller places and then uh, during the polar night and then I would leave everything around, for example, their face blank. But then they would uh, kind of feel that uh, blank polar uh, pitch dark black part with their own creativity and they would draw their, their something what is really dear to their heart so every single child would create their own polar night right now is a polar night and a lot of my friends who live in uh, much further south that uh, they tell me what to do in the arting during the polar night there is nothing to do there there is nothing to see nothing is happening which is completely wrong we need to understand our own selves to hear our voices which like in the bright light we often don't see things because the light is too bright and we don't hear things just because we are getting kind of deaf because of many reasons uh, so and art is very very important in the Arctic because it builds bridges between different settlements and different towns that are separated for different reasons one from each other and art is the only thing that connects people because it uses a very special language which all these people can use while still speaking their own language being separated by borders and other barriers but art goes through doesn't matter what because everybody understands the 
language of art.